Hello friends, good evening and welcome to Pathway Infotech. Today I am going to show how the BAM functionality in S4 HANA in order to use that bank account management in S4 HANA, what configuration to be done and how the workflow functionality will be enabled in S4 HANA and also what is the difference between activation of the basic scope and full scope and how to activate so along with the path i am going to present okay let's get started the topic so now <clears throat> coming to the bank account management since as compared with s4 hana so the bank account management the we are going to call it in s4 hana as a bam so now the BAM functionality, how we can uh, use this one. And if I would like to use this BAM functionality, what I have to do here. So now first, this is the licensed version. If, if uh, business would like to use this one as a full scope, they must have to obtain uh, the separate license for this one. So now let us see this one. So first, as soon as we must have to enable the functionality fin underscore fscm underscore clm so we must have to activate this is a business function so the transaction code to activate this one is a esfw5 is the transaction code we can go and we can find out this one we have to activate this one then coming to that basic scope and full scope so now the below the path is there if i can show here then now you can see here to activate the cash management there are two options one we could see basic scope another one is a full scope if we activate the basic scope what what is the difference between the full scope and basic scope let's see so if i activate basic function so now if i activate the basic function here you can see here only these are the options will be enabled here one is a general data bank relationship house bank account connectivity these three options will be enabled while creation of the bank account so these options we can able to see in the manage bank accounts fury app now if i activate the full scope it means we can utilize the options what SAP has been provided. So all these options along with the highlighted options, all these options we will be able to see. General data, relationship, house bank account, payment approvers, overdraft limit, multi-language description, cash pools, bank corrections. So all these options will be enabled if we activate the full scope. Then this is the scope how to activate that one define basic settings for that one if i want to activate the whether it is a basic scope and full scope then this is the path financial accounting cash and liquidity management financial supply chain management sorry spro financial supply chain management cash and liquidity management general settings under general settings define basic settings here this is the place where we need to activate that one now coming to the defined number ranges for the changes now this is the path for defined number ranges for the change requests for for what purpose this will be used let's say my bank my bank account if i am creating a new bank account or i want to change some fields in the existing bank account so at that point of time, my client would like to have a requirement. It should be triggered as a workflow. It means the changes should be approved by the authorized person. One person will be do the changes. Then the next authorized person should be reviewed. Then he has to approve the changes. Then if he is OK. So for that one, so we must have to define separate number ranges so system automatically it will generate the number ranges but this i will show moving forward 
then define number ranges for the bank account technical IDs. So this is the path for that one. So the technical IDs where we can able to see system will create automatically at the time of new bank account creation or at the time of bank account upload also system will create the new technical new technical ID. Now Now, if I can move to the next one. Now, how to activate the, now you can see BAM workflow. If I want to activate the BAM workflow, either it is a direct, directly activate or activate, or activate uh, via dual control or activate via workflow. Okay, whatever you want, whatever you want, you can do this one. So now let's say now direct activate directly means system does not trigger any workflow as soon as once you create the bank account system will enable the account status will be activation. Now if I go with this activate via dual control. So dual control means one person will be creating the bank account then the next person must review that one he has to approve that one dual control even activation of the via workflow. So if I activate this one, the bank account creation, the one person is creating, but another person will be approving, but any person, but here the two persons has to review, then they must have to approve. Here only one person will be sufficient in order to activate the bank account. If we use go with the third option, then now you can see here. So this is the path again, here you can see here to activate the functionality for the work, for the workflow. This is the first step where the event events are linkage for the bank management. I mean BAM functionality. Now you can see here we can able to see here there are three workflows here. WS 743043 and WS 785-00050. So, but now these three, I, I mean, we, we cannot activate three at a time, but if we want to utilize the in S4 HANA, this is the functionality what we must have to activate. One is a sufficient, but now 43, if we can activate 50 and 43, these two will be, we can able to see in S4 HANA, but this, I don't think this is not available in S4 HANA 2020 onwards, but now if I activate these two, then while creation of the bank account, I mean, definitely the system will throw the error. So that is the reason we must have to activate only this one, WS7850. Then, now moving to the, <clears throat> this is the one, define basic settings. Under this, we must have to do the either full scope or basic scope, and as well as the workflow, to activate the bank account through the direct or workflow or dual control. Now, once the above configuration will be done, we must have to assign the users in the workflow because who is going to approve? Who is the responsible person to approve that particular level? So S4 HANA has given, SAP system has given, these are the three roles for the bank accounting, especially for the BAM. 7430006, the role is for the cash manager. This is the role for the cash specialist, 007, 008 is the key user. Now, this is where define responsibilities for the for rules under in workflow steps. As soon as once we click here, the screen will be enabled like this. You can see here, these are the three roles which we will be able to see. Now we must have to select the role which user would like to be there under which, under which level. So now as soon as once we enter and press enter, once we enter that one, now you can see here, the system automatically it will enable this functionality then now you can see since this is the cash manager you can add the users by clicking this one by clicking this option then you can add the users to whom 
you want to approve at cash manager level. This is the role. The similar way, we have to add the users at the cash specialist and the key users. In case we will have the three levels of the approval or dual control. Now, once that will be done, then another the next thing would be a for workflow. There is a managed workflow for bank accounts. So this is the favorite tile where we need to add the workflow here. This is the mandatory one. If we are not going to add here, then system does not trigger the workflow here. So make sure this one, then click on create, then BAM workflow, you just name it as a BAM workflow. Then how many users, since I have activated only workflow functionality, I did not activated the dual control. So only the role which I have given is a for the cash manager. Okay, so rule for the cash manager. So one level approval will be sufficient for me. Then only one person will review. Then the person can able to display and edit the changes, whatever you want. Like this, we must have to we must have to create the rule. Then once it will be created, it will be deactivation state. We must have to activate that one. We must have to activate that one. Then only this will be this will work otherwise it won't work again in case if we will have the multiple uh, workflows here i mean one we can keep it as a disable i mean deactivate another one we can keep it as a active state if we do not want the uh, second uh, workflow then even we can delete that one also then moving to that how to create the bank account so in order to create the bank account in S4 HANA, manage bank accounts. This is a Fury app we need to use to create the bank accounts. Now come here, you can see here as soon as once this will be enabled here, once this Fury app come here, then click on the dots here. Now to create the bank accounts, this is a Fury tile, bank accounts creation process, the manage bank accounts of Fury app, this is a Fury tile, what we need to use. Now, once we will be here, then come here, there are three dots, click on here, then we can able to see the create option. As soon as once we click on create, then the system will enable options like this, then we can we need to enter uh, header data, account description, bank account description, account number, what bank has been provided, then country, currency, bank key, then bank control key. So before this one, as soon as once we click on create, then we would like to enter company code and account type those two uh, those two are the mandatory ones so that will be entered then this screen will be pop up so now we need to fill all the information here once this will be filled then click on the connectivity path so now this is the option bank house bank account connectivity path under this we have to enter the house bank account and house bank information. Then what is the validity period of this one, the bank account. Then we even there is an option to enter the GL account also. So we need to enter GL account information here. Now, once all the parameters will be keyed, then we need to click on the option save as inactive. Since we have activated the workflow functionality, so as soon as once we create the bank account, it does not come into active state. It will be always show as an inactive state. You can see here, you can see here, it will be like this. It will be inactive state, then as well as it will be in workflow process. Once it will be submitted for the in a, I mean, save as inactive. 
then once this will be done then the in the header we can able to see say, submit for the approval we must have to click this one then only it will trigger to the workflow to the authorized person then as soon as once we submit that one we can able to we can see here the change request 329 has been created here now which change request i mean what is the current status of this one if you want to see click on view history option then the system will show what is the current status of that one you can see here view history what is the current status account review log current request status review history means who has requested the, uh, the account changes and creation then it is there to whom it is lying for the approval it will show that one once this will be done then the approver part next if we want to approve the three to nine that is the workflow id it has been triggered it now this is a fury app my inbox for bank accounts we need to go into this app once we need to connect into this app we can able to see here like this three to nine this is the request id you can see here there are multiple options what we can see here so now if i scroll down here even though we can able to see what is the bank account number who has requested that one what changes he did the create i mean <clears throat> who has requested the requester what changes he has done even we can able to see them also now coming to the options here coming to the options here <clears throat> now approve reject show log claim forward suspense now let us discuss one by one options here you can see here approve means if the changes are okay to the approver then he can approve if he do not want to apply those changes then he can reject the changes simply the show log means then what is the log log information it will show climb let us talk about the climb so as soon as if we click the climb option meaning that this task the three to nine task will be reserved for me means until as soon as once i click this one there will be a one more option will be enabled here then a release option so release means this task will be reserved only for me even though multiple approvers are there in the same role even though but i am only the person need to approve this one until i release this change request until i release this change request then no one should not have authorization to release this one that is the meaning of this one climb then forward functionality let's say i want to forward this change request to some other person then i i can able to use this option to forward this one suspend suspend means let's say now i would like to suspend this bank account for time being i would like to suspend this bank account one or two days okay then until then this bank account will not be appear for usage okay then i am suspending this account these are the options what sap s4 hana has been provided now you can see now in the beginning we have seen the technical ids you can see here this is the technical id how it looks like in the system now moving to the next one as soon as once account will be approved then it will come into the active state all these options will be enabled until if it is in a workflow status if it is in still in approval state then you cannot edit the bank account because once the cycle will be completed then only these options again edit uh, again edit option will be enabled until then the edit option will not will not be enabled in case if the bank account is in approval state now you can see here this is what how i am approving here then once it will be approved here then then it will be automatically <clears throat> account will come into the active state here 